Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Uh-oh. creatures of the earth, Uh-oh. of the living God. Mm, 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 mm. He has created this earth and said, it is good, yes, yes. ladies and gentlemen. Very good. And God is good because today we are here with a man. Oof. If we could, or see a monument. Is that appropriate? Baby. I don't think I just man think is that out right. of DFW, like mm-hmm. when you fly in, yeah. there should be a statue of, this gentleman, of him in the front. For sure. With a Bible open. Yes. Wow. Proclaiming yes. when you think the about truths. the country of Texas, there's Selena down in Corpus Christi, right, uh-huh. right, and it's a country to be clear. That's right. And then when you go to Dallas, uh-huh. there should be, in fact, it's one of the greatest injustices in our nation at this right. point, a statue of the man that sits at this table. See, Absolutely. Yeah, I, 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 I could, I couldn't agree more. As soon as your governor would respond to my emails, then we we'll, might we'll, see we'll that get, come to pass. Better chance than our governor responding. <laughs> um, he's too busy uh, fighting. Uh, COVID conspiracy <laughs> theories. Okay, so, um, or pro- propagating them, I should say. But um, the only way that I can describe this this individual, I have to use a Latin phrase, sui generis, which Ooh. means of its own kind, or wow, 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 wow. as we translate it, one of a kind. Yes, 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 wow. yes, yes, yes. This individual that we are talking to you about today is one of a kind. So I think about prodigies. Yes. Right? Yes, yes. Like, like, like there's a certain... A uh, young man, uh, or he was a young man, <clears throat> that started out in high school balling. I mean, playing ball, basketball in such a way that everyone says this is a man amongst boys. He does sure. not belong here yes. amongst these children. Yes, that's right. That's right? right. That's right. Um, and then this individual trans transitioned over to the NBA, the NBA. Yes. And now he's one of the most classic. One of the most legendary players that we have, and I'm talking about LeBron James. Of course. The individual that I'm talking to you talking to you about on my left is the LeBron James of Christianity. The That's reason right. that I say that is because when I That's was in all high school. Of Christianity. Yes, because all I mean, like throughout yes. history. The 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 That's right. I you, you feel what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Since its inception. Yes. Um, and so what I'm saying is that this individual, while I was in high school, going to Champ Sports, looking at tall tees with the orange sticker on it that you can get two for twenty That's at right. the time. I remember that. I was trying to Different buy. Colors, I was trying to find green. out what colors would go with my new era. The neck fitted. collar only lasted a week or two before That's you had bacon true. neck. Before That's it was right. a bacon, right. it looked That's like bacon in the bands. Yes, right. exactly. So you get that the neck collar, you might get bacon neck. So that's why you you got to go and get two for twenty. <laughs> bacon. We get the bacon neck. You know what I'm talking about. So you 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 got to go and get the two for twenty. I was trying to go over the lids and buy me a fitted. You know, uh, mm. seven and three eighths at the time. Um, mm. to match my tall tees. And while I was doing that, this individual was releasing an album. That's right. In high school. That's right. That's right. I mean, while I was trying to pass Algebra 2, this man was breaking down Hebrews on the song. He, he just talked about breaking down Hebrews oh, yes, 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 yes. on yes. If They Only Knew. Oh, yes. And if don't forget the album cover where he, right. had the, where he gave you the shoulder. Put the album cover up, please. And <laughs> there you got to put, put the, the album, album cover, cover up. up. Because it, he's showing you that he means business. Absolutely. I am talking about an individual that you think about God being a creator. Yes. We are created in this image. Yes. We are like him. We are, we can find ourselves being creators like our father. And as God took his ability to create and made seven days, this yes. man took his ability to create and made seven albums. That's right. Say that, brother. Say that. So I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to figure as out. As long as I, I can j- remember. Yes. This man has been at the pinnacle of all that it is to be artistic, creative, and serious about both. Oh my, oh my this God. This gentleman that we have on our show today, oh, I need, talk. if you are wearing a hat right now, I need you to remove it from your head. Yes. And, and if you, normally you see him in a hat for good reason. Because this man's head is the only thing about him that I wish I could change. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> don't, don't. Oh, no, you <laughs> did. What is wrong with this guy? Bro, people going to think something wrong with my head what now, is, bro. What's nothing wrong with this man's head? <laughs> <laughs> hey, one time, Trip Lee, I got to tell the story. You. One time, Trip, because uh, he normally either has a hat on or he got, he got a little something up there. One day he was sitting <laughs> a down. A little something? With, yeah, he was sitting down with our friend John O. Shout out to John O. Portrait yeah, Coffee. Yeah, shout out to yeah, John O. We going to have him on his Yes, soon. sir. He was sitting down with John O. They were talking. They were pastoring together. Yeah. Best friends, by the way. And Trip started talking. Like, but we're not used to seeing his head. It's normally a hat on it or a little something up there. So when he told me what John O said, I said, "Brother, I would have said the same thing." What John O said was, "Trip, I, I let me just stop you right there. Can you put your hat back on?" <laughs> Are you kidding me? I can't hear anything you're saying. John O, you're wrong. Saying. 
I cut my hair low. I was like, yeah. I'm gonna cut it low and just, you know, right. just. Nah. Bro, we was in the meeting. Was like, I that was took my mistake. hat off and I like noticed him looking a little weird and like trying to focus. He was like, bro, can you just put your head back just, on? Just I, put it I can't, on. I'm sorry. Man. <laughs> He's like, I don't, bro, it's throwing me I can't. I'm like, dang. Oh my but gosh. Around that same season, yeah. I was on tour with KB. It was when we did we uh did Winter Jam. Sure. Uh-huh. And uh I I took my hat off. It was right around the same time. KB said, oh! <laughs> he said, bro, what did you do? I'm like, dang. These supposed to be some of my best oh, friends my in the God, world, bro. Oh, That's because we love you. Like trying that, to help you have you stepping out like that. You oh, already light-skinned. That's a, it's a delicate line that you're walking every <laughs> single day of your life. Well, there, you have to be very calculated in these decisions. You, We need a counsel Ladies for this man. Ladies and gentlemen, do you see what happened? They <laughs> set up with all that. That stuff this about LeBron James. We've never done this. We've always kept the. They the, did that's it. That's because you had to go I'm and sorry. try to disrespect our, our guests. I'm sorry. They bro. did it only so they I could tried. slap it back down. I tried. I actually had a whole thing. I had a few Chuck Norris jokes I was going to throw in there. I'm so sorry. Anyways, in real, real, real life, real I life. I feel more comfortable now. Just, I'm going to th- throw the funny off and just say Trip is one of uh, my closest friends. Um, Trip Lee has been twin. Twinning them mm-hmm. with me for a long time. Yep, we have been in the trenches together, literally in the the jungles of Africa, mm-hmm. um, riding eighteen hours through the countryside to get mm-hmm. to a concert, mm-hmm. uh, taking showers with baby wipes. Mm-hmm. Um, we've been in the trenches doing the work of the Lord together for over a decade now, and uh, I have been more and more inspired. Inspired by him. Amen. Uh, I've been more and more moved by his love for Jesus and his family uh, and his tremendous story of endurance. Mm-hmm. Um, I have gotten emotional a many a times as I've probably not toured with any other artist more than I've toured with Trip. I've gotten emotional many a times uh, seeing him wrestle with uh, something we'll talk about here in a minute, an autoimmune disorder. Is that, is that, Fair? Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and how it affected him on stage and seeing him finishing up a set, having to sit down because he has lost all strength to then walk off stage and say, again, again I say, rejoice, rejoice in the Lord always. Amen. Um, Trip is that guy. And it is an honor to have you on Southside Rabbi tonight. Man, thank y'all for having yes, 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 me. Yes, I appreciate yes. it. Yeah, thank you for coming. Man. Okay, let's. Get past the niceties. Get down <laughs> or to not. The... Oh, um, <laughs> <laughs> Another thing I don't like about Trip. <laughs> when I don't he like eats, how he don't have a beard. He <laughs> and he can't grow a beard. But you got to ask some questions about that. Oh, what is the Lord saying by that? Uh, this man. So, first of all, T. Lee, welcome to the show. Amen. Mm-hmm. Um, we want to, with, with folks like you, um, we... Really want to hear your insights, wisdom, things that you are seeing in the culture, mm-hmm. and how you think about it through a biblical, uh, through your biblical conviction. Uh, but before we get to that, tell us why we should be excited. I know. I want y'all to know. <laughs> why should people be excited about what's to come in 2023 from my man's Tripoli? Um, I mean, mainly one of the reasons that I, one of the things that gets me excited about working on new stuff is. I don't know, like, I get excited about making something and getting to share it with people. Mm -hmm. Uh, That's one of my favorite things about, you know, the Lord letting us be creatives is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get to have an idea in our mind. Yeah. And then we get to see it exist, and then we get to send it out into the world and the Lord do amazing things with it. Mm. So I feel excited about stuff that's coming. I love it. Earlier this year, I put out my first albums in the last... It was like five, six years uh, in between. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was in Africa with Dave Chappelle, right? <laughs> That's right, yeah. I, 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 I had to get wait. away for a while. Yeah. <laughs> nah, but, and I'm super grateful the Lord allowed me to make another project. Awful album. And I'm very, uh, I'm grateful for that. Like, I, I listened to it again the other day, and I was like, Lord, thank you for letting this happen. Like, I feel, I feel proud of it as a project. Um, produced a good bit on it as well? Yeah, that was yeah, a, that was a new piece of it for me. Yeah. Um, I hadn't produced before, and it just, uh, I'm really grateful that the Lord allowed it to, to happen and and yeah, more music on the way. I mean, I'm working on a bunch of stuff. Lord willing, you will hear a lot from me musically in 2023. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got a bunch of songs in the vault and stuff. I'm working on. Me and KB got a couple joints we uh-huh. we got on the way. Yep. Uh, and I feel like I'm in the best place I've ever been creatively. I love it. Ooh. Um, and man, nothing is more of 
Yeah, nothing is more enjoyable than being rocked by truth mm. and then getting to use my favorite medium in the world, hip hop, to communicate it to people. Let's go. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't mm-hmm. rather do anything else, man. I love uh, it. And Amen. so I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Yeah. So I got podcast stuff coming podcast this year, coming. music oh, yeah. coming this year. Uh, yeah, I, th- I think it's gonna be a dope year. I love Will it, bro. Yeah, I love yeah. It. And we um, are here for it. And you stepping away. Uh, what? Why did you feel like you needed to step away? And what did you feel like the Lord did in that time? Right now that you're coming back, energized, yeah, uh, refreshed, excited. You know, you got a lot coming down the pike. So, what yeah. did you feel like happened in that time that you got to step away? And was that the second time you stepped away? Uh, yes, mm-hmm. but the way it worked out, the first time that I like stepped away from music, I was doing a pastoral internship. Yeah. Um, and uh, well, that was the first time. The yes. second time, I stepped away again. Um, after Rise, and I thought, I thought maybe. Yeah, I didn't know if I was going to put out more albums. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, right. It was before Rise. It was after Good Life, before Rise. And, uh, yeah, it was. I, I was trying to free up my life to to pastor. I felt called to pastor, yeah. mm-hmm. help people see the truth of God's word. Yeah. And I knew it would be hard for me to do that while being in and out of town all Absolutely. the time. Yeah. Right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. And so I was like, People were like, Trip, don't do that, please. Don't like step away. That I mean, your career's been doing this. I'm not sure you what this is doesn't seem yes. like a good time to do wow. that. This yes. is, wow. is wow. meteoric rise. Yeah. And if I can just I'm sorry to cut you off. Yeah. We need to hear you today. Uh it's also a critique from our audience. It's like if you have a guest on, let them be a guest, bro. <laughs> uh I just want to underscore that though. Every time Trip has stepped away, it has not been him looking at his career like, well, guys, we had a good run. Yeah. Uh, but no one is showing up anymore. Right. He has gotten off the horse. He not hasn't thrown been, off. He's not been right. thrown off the horse. He's always stepped off of the horse. And I, remember, I remember asking you right after your most su- successful project at the time, um, which was um, the joint that I am not a robot on it. Good Life. Good yeah. Life. Yeah. Uh, which had a book with it as well that also yes. did very, very well. Yes. And you said to me, I said, I said man, w- w- what's in the process of this? He said, bro, I am not going to wait uh, until... I see some kind of decline to do what God is telling me to do. I'm, I love that. It's just, it's, if, if it's going to keep doing this, yeah. then now is never, yeah. it's not a better time than now. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I've always respected you for that. That's I faith, appreciate man. that, bro. Yeah. I appreciate that. Um, and then, uh, so when I put out The Waiting Room in 2016, because yeah. mm-hmm. even with those breaks, somehow it still ended up being an album every two years. You mm. know, 2006, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. Right. When I put out The Waiting Room, I really thought, okay, I'm going to just put this out to hold people over until my next project. Uh-huh. I didn't realize uh, how long people was going to be in that waiting room. <laughs> uh, that COVID was, had everybody waiting. Been I was in the general hospital, bro, the emergency room. <laughs> we was in that mug on Monday. Oh, it was nine man. hours in the waiting room. Well, was... goodness gracious. Go ahead, brother. So this, so this one was, and at that time, I was a uh, pastor. I was on staff at my church in mm-hmm. Atlanta that I yeah. helped plant with John right. and and Mo and Rich. Uh Cornerstone Church in Atlanta, and I was just, it's always been for me, because my health has made it difficult too, it's always been, God, I just want to be faithful, and yes. I've tried to be open-handed and mm-hmm. say, God, what does it look like in this season? Right. And sometimes I'm like, does that mean I need to lean more into music stuff? Does that mean I need to lean more into pastoring? I just want to be faithful, what does that look like? Yeah. My health has made it hard to figure out exactly what it should look like, because right. there been times I'm like, oh, I think this is what faithfulness looks like in this season. Right. And then there are things about my health that make it hard to work quite right. So, okay, right. let's tweak. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, so, you know, I, I didn't think it was going to be this long um, mm-hmm. in between projects. Uh, so it's been a combination of me pastoring and mm-hmm. just my health being really hard. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, and I yeah. just hadn't been able to push anything to the finish line. Yeah, yeah. So it wasn't really until I stepped off staff in my church last year, for health reasons too, uh, that I had more space freed up to actually push a project to the finish line. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. And to be completely honest, like I had been in a place where I was like, I don't know if I am ever going to be able to push a project to the finish line again. It just felt like it had been so long. Mm-hmm. And my health just always felt like, it, it just felt like I, I can't keep up enough momentum for long enough. Yeah. Uh, and so, man, I was really, really grateful. And even as the project was dropping... I was like, Lord, help me to enjoy this. Yes, sir. It's the seventh time you let me put out a project. Yes, so, yes. Man, that's a gift. That's and powerful. Amen. It's by God's grace that I got to put out even one. And I'm mm-hmm. like, Lord, help me to enjoy this gift you've given me, Lord. And help me to, and, and yeah, use it. 
You yeah. know, every every moment that I have is a gift from Jesus. Every song I've ever written is a gift from Jesus. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah. So yeah. Amen. I feel that. I feel that. I, I also, uh, uh, I resonate with um, stepping back when you release a project and realizing that the wonder of this is not that it might go number one. That's right. Mm. But the wonder is that God the universe, the yes. living God has selected you yeah, bro. and given you grace to do a thing that you love, which yeah. is art and hip hop and being creative, but then to pack that with the truths of the word of God, yeah, bro, right, right. that are able to cut through bone and marrow, yeah, bro, man. to rescue sinners, heal broken hearted hearts, to be numbered among the men and women that get to do that. Amen, If bro. that has lost its wonder. Yeah. If you, which I've seen in my own life, bro, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, where you're waiting, you're holding your breath to see if you should celebrate or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, right. no, 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 no. Yeah, if you yeah. completed it and it was released and yeah. people are engaged with it, the win is already in, bro. Right. Yeah. We're not waiting to see if we should be excited. The wonder is that God has used us at all, bro. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Isn't that beautiful, bro? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, Absolutely. And it's, uh, when I think of, like, some of the stuff that made me want to rap, like, listening to Cross Movement albums uh -huh. and, uh, like, the impact it had on my life, the way it made me want to love Jesus more, want to yeah. know Jesus more, and me thinking, Lord, if you would let me do that for other people. Come on. And I, when I didn't have any picture that it could be Bro, I remember when somebody paid me two hundred dollars to rap one time. I was like, yeah. <laughs> "Yo, my man, man. I, didn't, I guess I guess there's some uh, some other ways. I guess there's some benefits to this too. <laughs> <laughs> my buy some sneakers. Uh, uh, um, yeah, I never imagined it would be all of this, man. And so you're right. Like you can lose a wonder of that though, because yeah. it turned into stuff that we never expected, and it can. You know, it can begin to be, all right, let me see what happens. Let yeah. me see how good this does. Yeah, let me see yeah, yeah. see what kind of responses I get. Yeah, and it's right. like, Lord, well, help me not to be distracted by that stuff Absolutely, in a way bro. Mm -hmm. where I lose the wonder that you yeah. let me do this. Yeah, bro. Yeah. You know it's power, it's favor. I, I think Tripp and I have talked about this too. It's difficult to stay grounded as an artist mm -hmm. whose entire career is based on their market value. Yeah. yeah. Market value is literally... How much does the market value? Right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Literally, yeah. And to then begin, what the temptation is, is to then link your actual value to right. where you are in the, the market. market. That is not an easy thing to disconnect from. That's right. But getting a proper discipline to, as a, a friend of mine put it, that we're thinking more about what we want for our audience, not what we want from our audience. Yeah, yeah, that's good. In the, in the latter, it's how did y'all show up to support the thing I did and then... I will base my the, the level of rejoicing or celebration success off of that. Well, if you flip that, yeah, in that I was able by God's grace to be this for my audience. Right. When I was listening to Cross Movement and Flame and and Lecrae and and Show Baraka and Trip back in the day, this man's been doing it since he was eleven. Yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, when I was listening to these dudes, I it never once crossed my mind if if this was if how much they sold. Yeah, it's like hey, before I listen to this. I just want to be. I just want to make sure. Yeah, we talking Billboard Top 100, right. 200. Not yeah. only that, it didn't cross <laughs> my mind or anybody else's mind. Nobody was thinking yeah, about yeah, it. I'm yeah, thinking yeah. my first album I, on Giving That Truth, I was like, and I don't care if I don't never get a Billboard hit. Yeah, and yeah. I never thought my name would be on anyone's Billboard chart mm -hmm. ever. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. That wasn't yeah. something I was checking for. Bro, yes. right. there was a time, and this, you know, even to our detriment, it was like, I couldn't tell you how many albums I saw. I was mm -hmm. like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. right, right, right. Because we just weren't thinking about that. Right, now, of course, right. you should know how many albums you sell because yeah, yeah. you should be making sure you're getting paid what you're supposed to get. That's right. right. But it just wasn't part of the way we were gauging if if we were being faithful. Sure. Or mm -hmm. It's not how we were thinking about success. Sure, sure. Right. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, and I think in a lot of ways it insulated us from some of the, the trappings. Absolutely. It, it can, it can, the joy. Uh, I, I would say I think one of the scariest things is when we talk about how do we know if things are going well and we don't include yeah. the stories of people's Absolutely. transformation. Man. Absolutely. There's a dude in Evansville, Indiana. He was a detective, Detective Nathan, um, who went to heaven, bro. He he died. And in his on his hospital bed, bro, he was listening to Wait and Glory, bro, walking into eternity, fam. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. To be a part of <clears throat> cats getting one one six on their gravestones, bro. Right. We got video of that, man. Yeah. And when those kinds of things become, well, you know, 
That's right. Well, you know, it, it, it's it's a uh, it's a temptation because we never dreamed of the billboard thing, but then we started showing up on That's billboards. Right. Yeah. yeah, and you can, <laughs> and it's one of those things where it's yeah. like even if you didn't start doing something for a particular reason, right? Mm-hmm. You can still get so used to that. Then yeah. when you you start to wonder, like, oh, I want to make sure this stays around, though, because right. I'm, I'm very comfortable with this. Yes. Thing. Right. You know yes, 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 yes. A good example of even the of that is I went to, of judging based on outward things that make you think of something's going well or not. Yeah. Right. And then the stories, like, I remember, actually, it was, like, right after COVID. It was, like, the first show I did. It was... Um, it was like right outside this Native American reservation. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a bunch of Native American teenagers basically yeah. do the show. They seem like they never been to a concert in their life, right? Word. So it's like, I'm like, man, y'all hate me. I'm like, I'm going to give 100%, but y'all do not yeah. like this right, concert. Right, right, right. Y'all do not rock with my music, but you know what? I'm going to give 100, Lord. And I, you know, and after the show, I was, I was like talking to a few people. Someone came up. Everyone loved it. It was yeah. the best night of life. Yeah. This girl comes up. She said, thank you so much. I was just waiting for you to do Sweet Victory. She said, um, last year, I was about to kill myself. Oof. Mm. I was going to take my life. Oof. I heard Sweet Victory that day, and that song kept me from taking my life, cool. and I listened to that song every day. Let's go. Um, and then, you know, I've, I had so many, like, things with that song in particular. I, I had a dude who lifted up his shirt. He has some of the lyrics tatted right there. He's like, I was going to kill myself. He pulls out his wallet. He has the lyrics written down. He said, I look at these all the time. Oh, these things it. are reminded to me that there is hope yes. in the uh, midst of discouragement yes. and difficulty and this victory in the midst of losses. Yes. And this makes me want to keep going. Yes. And uh, I'm like, man, if oh. it matters to me more that people weren't doing this in the crowd, oh. and mm. that speaks more loudly than someone saying, this is how God uses in my life, then something is wrong something with is man. wildly wrong. You know what I'm Say saying? That, Amen. Uh, and it, but it takes intentionality to yeah. keep your eyes open and looking at the right stuff. Yeah, because, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. That makes sense. That seems like a, dis, a spiritual discipline that you have to develop. Yes. Yeah. And I think that if anybody's in any kind of public ministry, I think that that's the kind of spiritual discipline you have to develop. Yeah. It's crazy thinking about what you say um, about how, you know, this wasn't even the intent. Because yeah. when I just, I, just speaking from my own experience, <clears throat> I'm here because of what y'all did, right? Like, I remember I had, uh-huh. if they only knew, uh-huh. um, I was in high school, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I was trying to live that thing out, man. Yeah, bro. And uh, it really kept me yeah. along with everyone else that I was listening to. But yours in particular, I think mm. about it because I'm like, he's our age. I remember we used to say age. that. Yes. And we was like, man, we don't fit. Because when we first, like, met each other. Yeah. <clears throat> We were like the only two Christians we knew our age. We sure. were the only dudes in Southside St. Pete that we knew that was Christians. We yeah. didn't we hadn't met everybody here in Tampa yet. Yeah. So it was just me and him. So I'm yeah. like, hey, it just feel like it's just us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But then we had, if they only knew, I was like, yeah. oh, this is a trip lead dude. He had our age too. You know what I'm saying? Shame, bro. And yeah. um, you know, that stuff, it's like we are products of what you did, like yeah. what God did mm. through your mm. music. Sure. You know what I mean? Is it has us here today. Sure. Um sure. And no, it's powerful. You you just never know like what the Lord is gonna do with it. You know, yeah. you just mm. you don't intend for it, yeah. but yeah, yeah. And, I, and, all, and also God does what He wants. That, yeah, Amen. Means yeah, I agree hundred percent, bro. I'd also add to that, uh, and I do. My next question to you, Trip, is going to be to talk to us a little about the adversities of wrestling with chronic mm-hmm. fatigue. Yeah, but um, I do want to add to that that this wonder over what God is doing is a Christian discipline. Yeah, bro. yeah. Um, uh, I, I think in some ways you might argue that it might be e- more of a challenge to exercise that discipline if you are a public figure. Yeah. Because there's a lot of things that you that can distract you. Yeah. But I would also argue that it would apply to the average Christian as well. Absolutely. As you think about what it means for you to be successful in this world, it is proper to to think about the ways in which you do good things in your Education and and in your vocation and uh, your accomplishments. Though it is, it, there's nothing. God isn't offended by you being excited about uh, achieving, hitting the numbers. Yeah. Yes, but yeah. realize that there is a ultimate achiever achievement. Excuse me, and the ultimate achievement that God has dropped on His people is something that is bigger than the momentary wins of what you did in your. Your your, uh, uh, your 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 spheres of influence, mm-hmm. yeah. but mm-hmm. when I can become excited again about. 
baptism. Right. Remember praying for somebody to come to Jesus yeah, bro. Mm-hmm. and then seeing your prayers answered. Yes. Right. Re- re- remember seeing the, the marriage restored. I remember particularly one time um, I was helping a brother whose wife had just cheated on him. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was uh, uh, actually daily almost showing up at their crib trying to help pray, uh, mediate, uh, point them to resources, that kind of thing. And uh, the last, I remember there was uh, the last, oh man, it's so crazy, you're good, God. I, I think it was the last time that I sat with them before they got into counseling. And by God's grace, their marriage was saved. Mm. I was walking to his house because we lived in the same neighborhood. And I was walking to his house and I said out loud, this is over. This is over. There's, mm. there's, I, I couldn't come back from this. Yeah, mm. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm over here advocating for him to do things that I know I don't have the strength to do. And I felt like a ton of bricks God struck me and said, yeah, you can't do it. Come on, right. somebody. Mm. Yeah. But I can. But I can, bro. Yeah, yeah. I, as I was walking, I immediately out loud start to verbalize. People are looking at me like I'm crazy. Father, you are the God of Abraham, yeah, yeah. Isaac, and Jacob. Mm-hmm. You yeah. are the God who brings the brings life from death. Right. You are the God who <laughs> resurrects. You are the God that redeems. That's who you are. I'm just proclaiming it, proclaiming it, proclaiming it. To then see God do what I could not explain, bro. Right, I, right. I had no, I there was there was no uh there was no playbook to this mug. It isn't yeah. like just do these things and then it happens. Uh-huh. God stepped in, bro. Yeah, bro. When those things in our lives as Christians become, huh, or you yawn at them, yeah, then something also has gone terribly wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because these are the things that heaven's re- heaven rejoices over. Yeah. What I've always wanted to do, I kind of said this in church clap, I want to be sure that me and heaven are rejoicing over the same things. Right. Message. How far be it from me that God would be smiling over something that I'm yawning at, bro. Right, right. And it's yeah. like, man, when God shows us those ways, he's gracious and merciful to us um, that remind us of reasons we should be grateful. Yeah. If we get desensitized to that, it is bad for our soul because mm-hmm. it's almost like... Uh, Getting desensitized to a medication mm. yeah, or right. something that you need that's supposed to be good for your soul that helps reverse something wrong that's sure, going sure, on. Sure. Right. But if your body becomes immune to it, it can no longer do that. Right, right. Mm. God showing us his work is is like a medicine to our soul mm. to show us always be great. I was just looking at um, mm-hmm. you know, first Thessalonians 5, yeah. 16, rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. We like yeah. to think about God's will for us when it's big, grand things. We don't <laughs> right, like to right. think about it when it's very regular yes. and straightforward. Hey, rejoice, pray, give thanks. Yes, right. yes. And one of the things I think that drowns sure, out sure. our ability to pay attention, desensitizes us to the medicine of God showing us what he's doing. Sure. Is I think being so locked into our phone so often, being so busy all the time that we never have time to stop and ask ourselves what's happening around us, because mm-hmm. we just kind of jumping from the thing to thing. And then when we not, when we have a second, yeah. when we stand in line at the gas station yeah. and we have, there's two people in front of us, we just scroll instead of reflecting on yeah, what's happened in bro. our day. Yeah, um, bro. And I think a good spiritual discipline is to stop and reflect on what God has done in yes. that day. Yes, yes, and it could be as simple as mm-hmm. five minutes of journaling. It can be as simple as just praying before you go to bed. Yeah. Right. Just taking stock of what your day was and thanking God for the... But it's a command for us to rejoice and give thanks in all circumstances. Yes. But we cannot do that if we've closed our eyes to all the stuff that God Say has given. We won't that. see all the stuff that we're supposed to be thankful yes. for. And I'm talking to myself, too. I yeah, mean, there's me times too. where I'm right. like... I got to, you know, I got to be more disciplined because I'm not giving my mind enough time. And I think that's, that leads to some of our stress and anxiety and depression sometimes, too, is we don't give our minds ever a second to stop, yeah. rest, take stock, yeah. and thank God for, for the things he's doing. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah. I love it. I love what you said. I was, um, I quoted this in another episode that we had, but I was thinking about um, something uh, Richard Foster said in Celebration of Discipline when he was quoting... Um, uh, Carl Jung and he said in, he said in contemporary society our adversary majors in three things noise, hurry and crowds mm, mm. and then he said if he can keep us engaged in muchness and manyness he will rest satisfied and mm. he talked about Carl Jung saying that hurry is not of the devil it is the devil mm. right Oof. and I think about that because as you said we are now especially because of phones and yeah, information bro. age we're getting inundated with information we're fragmented sure yes bro um, and I feel like we don't know what it means to sit back in 
think about what God has done, right. which which is, uh, is uh, essentially that's what it means for us to be meditating on yes. who God is, what yeah. God has done. It's yeah. that spiritual discipline of meditation. Yes, yes. We we do not live in a society that is conducive for us to meditate yes, on bro. what God has done and who God is, because yes. society is saying no, 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 no. You need to always been in, in, in you need to always be inundated with information. Yes, notification here, show here. Yeah. Uh, you can pull up, like you said, you could be in line. You could pull up your Kindle book, just read. Like every, we we don't know how to sit. We yeah. don't know how to we don't know how to sit in quiet, and we do not still. know really how to be still and yeah. to meditate. And yeah. it's funny because, I mean, even when he was talking about the spiritual discipline of meditation, he was saying folks in the ancient Near East they would have understood what that meant. Mm. Yeah. As, soon as, you, as soon as they talking talking about meditating on the things of God, they understood that. Yes, yeah, bro. right. It's a part of. Society and culture would have sure. meant to meditate, but our society and culture, we have to recover that. Sure. Yes, and man. and and we have to recover that spiritual discipline of that meditating on the goodness of God. Sure. And as Tripp said, it doesn't have to be something meditation to us because of like the Eastern version of meditation. We make it much more complex than it really has to be. Sure, 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 sure. Just be thinking about the things that God has done, thinking sure. about passage that you read thinking yes. about what it means to apply it to my life yes thinking about what's going on in society but what what is my prophetic what it what is the prophetic perspective to what's sure, going on there's sure. so many ways we can you know we can do that and yeah. we can serve each other in that even by like mm. you know i could i could decide you know every time i see kb for the next year when i see him i'm gonna say bro tim some stuff got to do in your life yes that's simple yes. Sure. that's a good way to serve but each yes. other yes. Yes. it yes. forces you to stop Think and praise God for stuff that He's done. Yes, it's just really good for your soul. Amen. Simple, like Practical, build that stuff yes. into our life where we have to stop. And, yes, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I, I think, love that. I think the um, uh, with the information age and being inundated with, uh, you know, access to knowledge and uh, is also you know the fear of missing out on experiences as well. Exactly. So we're inundated with lots yeah. of things to think about and lots of things to do. Right, right. And those crowd. Yeah, bro any kind of vision for what God might be doing. And I don't even think to ask, how is the Lord, how is the Lord doing something unique in your life? And I, I, I had a situation recently where I was sitting with a brother, I was in his crib and, um, and it seemed like he was waiting to see what God was going to do. Meaning like, I have a list of things that I need God to get done for me. Mm. And, and and once God gets those things done for me, I will rejoice mm. in what he has done. Mm. Yeah. But when you always put the act, God's activity into the f- in some sort of future request, you are blind to what God is doing right now right. all around you. Mm-hmm. That's right. As you sit in health and as you sit so in a home, as you sit in uh, clothes and your, mm-hmm. your family's intact, and as mm-hmm. you sit through all of his goodness, it makes me think about the ways in which uh, in my home, and uh, I because Trip Trip's wife is amazing. She is she a is, genius uh, and uh, loves her husband so well. She did, she knows him very well. Uh, she decided for one of his birthdays to do a roast where she invited all of his friends to come to uh, Ben Washer's house, uh, um, uh, the, one of the owners of Reach Records. We went to Ben Washer's house. We had all of Tripp's favorite foods, the, the, the things that he, best desserts, uh, best savory meals, best snacks, best drinks. And then we all took, I didn't participate. I was terrified. But they, everyone else participated. I could see KB's face the whole time. I was like, oh, no, no, It made no. me enjoy the experience even more. Because <laughs> I was sitting I was behind like, no. him. He kept being like, are you okay? <laughs> Is that too far? Is that too far? Are you okay? It was an act of love. I appreciate it. <laughs> and they asked me to pray before we started. And in my prayer, I said, Father, <laughs> don't let anyone leave discouraged. Because he didn't know that there was a roast coming. No, I didn't even and know was it was scared. a party, bro. I was nervous, bro. My wife, it was a whole surprise party. My wife's a terrible liar, too. Thank you, Father. <laughs> <laughs> she, so she's you, she's never gotten away with something like this before. I thought we yeah. was just going over there for something, yeah. And we was running behind, yeah. and she was more mad at me than normal. That we yeah. was running behind. I'm like, yeah. dang, I'm what's like, going on? Uh, and we get there, and everyone was like, ah, surprise! I'm like, oh, shut oh, up. So they was like, no, it's a party for you. I was like, shut up, bro. <laughs> like, no, like, no, nah, for real. <laughs> like, it's a party. And then it was like, nah, okay, it's a roast. And I was like, be quiet. And then John get up there, he and wrote he it stuck. out. And he started roasting, bruh. Oh, he came for that man's He soul. came for oh my, my and bro, gosh. it was one of the greatest, like, dawning on me, like, oh, this is a roast. This is really yes, like a bro. real one. Like, yes. you wrote out 
hilarious jokes. Yes. And, and everything pe- was on the table. No. They were uh, making fun of this man's sickness. Bro, no. <laughs> bro, and it was <laughs> No, but here, but it but was it's, so loving. No, no I know what you're saying. Like, yeah, yeah. you're saying my wife gathered all my favorite yeah. things. She knows right. I love comedy. Yeah. And I love my friends. And yeah, I'm like, yes. if we can get in this room. And everybody, we love, we all know we love each other. Right, so right, right. the space to yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah. It was amazing. amazing. It was probably top five. He, I mean, Best. I know it was good because you told me about it. I told it. you about it. I was like, yo, he was this like, bro, was you gotta, genius. This, this thing was I great. I was just impressed at how well Jessica knew her husband. Mm. That there was no question that this was going to be the best experience of his life. And I was nervous. I, I kept asking before Trip got there, are y'all sure? I mean, is there a biblical precedent for this? <laughs> you know, I, I was struggling, bro. I was a much different person back then, but I, I was strong. I'm just being honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I saw, as soon as John O went up and shared his, I said, oh, I see it, bro. I get the function of this. Yeah. And it was, it was, it was, it was great. Anyways, in that, everyone got up and roasted him except me. And <laughs> his, even his wife got up and roasted she him. Did, bro. That's the most But this brother right was in the back laughing, hee hee and ha ha, and then taking notes, right? So he's taking notes and writing jokes on the spot. He goes up there after everyone's done, thanks everyone, and proceeds to flame. This right. <laughs> it was poetic justice, bro. It was in the literal sense of the term, bro. But one of the things that his wife got on him about was uh, not, uh, you know, going to make a sandwich and leaving the peanut butter and the uh-huh. bread out everywhere. And it was great. It was appropriate for the occasion. Good. Uh, but anyways. Uh, so when I heard that, I also I actually felt seen because mm-hmm. I think that my wife's biggest concern with me is that I come into the house and it's like I'm just stripping all the way to the bed, bro. So yeah. shoes all over the bed, right, right, shirt right. and stuff like yeah. that. She told me years ago, I've gotten better. At least I hope. You got to ask her. But she told me years ago, she was like, if you really want to show me that you mm. value me and you love yeah. me, it's not in buying me flowers or yeah. a ring, a new ring yeah. or upgrading mm-hmm. some car. Just pick your clothes up. Yeah. I yeah. feel almost moved to tears <laughs> when you just put your clothes in the hamper that's right there. What's going on in your brain, bro? Right, right. It's right there. <laughs> you put it next to it and yeah. it's empty. Anyways, what I've been trying to do though, especially uh when uh wifey is, you know, she has a small group or something like that, or she had to go run some errands. What I've been doing here lately is that I've been like cleaning the house like yeah. I'm yeah. vacuuming and I'm washing all the dishes. I got the kids uh, all in their PJs, lined up, ready to go. She walk in, they stand in the straight line. Yes, ma'am, we are ready. Like, I got everything laid out. <laughs> Not we are And ready. I think about, this This took so long, this point took so long to make that didn't, you may need to cut all this out. But anyways, I think about when she comes home and I'm waiting for her to see bro. all that I have done, bro. I was just about to say, bro. <laughs> It's like you put together a, your, a perfect album yeah, or something. It's like, it's like, oh, I did this. You yeah, sitting in the corner like this. Like, put the this. camera on me. Put the camera no, on no, me. She coming. Like, she coming. <laughs> yeah. You sitting like, ah, yeah. I did. Your man. That's your man. Right. You got me yeah. for life. This is what we do around here. Yeah. You feel me? And uh, and I think about how encouraged I am when she recognizes yes, and bro. she mm-hmm. takes, she, she kind of uh, tips, she tips the hat to me. Yeah, yeah, bro. Imagine though, bro, if which is what we see happening in marriages that fall apart, is that husbands and wives are active doing things constantly Uh to try to set the stage for the other to feel valued, and that thing gets ignored. But you walk in and you're you're like, I I don't care. But did you? Right. Is the oil still? Right. It is always that, I think that's the context that Proverbs talks about, it'd be better to live in a desert than to be hearing this constant, contentious, nagging, yeah. I'm looking at what you didn't do. Right, I yeah, can't bro. appreciate all that you have done. And I think in some ways, this is all, sorry guys. Nah, that's but good. I, think I think in no, that's some good. ways, yeah. that's what it is with our Heavenly Father. Bro, mm-hmm. because... I love it. Because it's, it's so magnified when you think about on the scale of God himself. Yes, yeah, bro. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's like, oh yeah, you kept my lungs breathing. Yeah. Oof. The words that I'm saying right now to complain against you, you're mm-hmm. sustaining my lungs, Let's my ability see. to even say that. Yes. It's like mm-hmm. all the stuff God does for us, bro. Yes. Right. We're desensitized. He's so consistent that it desensitizes us to right. the grace and mercy we give him at every moment. It's never failed every day of my life. I woke up to new mercy. Yes, yes, yes. yes every yes. day of my life, and I can expect it the day after and the yes. day after. And like you're saying, bro, we... We just blind ourselves yeah, to bro. it. Mm-hmm. And I think more, 
even younger believers, when they think about their Christian life, I think they imagine all the grand things they're going to do for Jesus. I can't. I want to jump off a plane for Jesus yes. in the middle of a jungle somewhere. I want to kill a bear like David. Yeah, right. I want to do everything. Yeah, I said, I'm going to jump out of a plane with no parachute for yeah. Jesus. He's just going to have to save me. Yes. It's like, I'm going to go plant a church in the jungle. Yes. Did you go to church Sunday? Though? Right. We, like, there's yeah, yeah. a... There's a, we get excited about the big grand, grand things, things and yeah. big grand acts are easier than small acts that we do consistently. Yes. But the thing that feeds our soul most, that glorifies God most, is those small things that we're supposed to do consistently that keep us connected to Jesus. Come on, sir. Yeah. So in the same way you're talking about, your wife is like, you don't have to give me flowers all the time. Uh, Just pick yeah. up after yourself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's way easier to not think about your wife all week. And be like, oh, I'm going to just stop yeah. and get some flowers on the way home. Right, sure. right, right. Of course, it says more about your commitment and love to her to do those small things regularly all the time. Come on, sir. Not only does it say more about how you value her, it's also better for provoking that love for her in your heart. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, the regular paying attention to the stuff that God is doing for us and stopping to rejoice, yes. reflect, thank him is not only good for your soul. Yeah. It's one of the ways that our love for God shows up most clearly. Absolutely. Amen. Yeah. There is Amen. always more to be grateful for than there is yeah. for you to have pause to complain. Right, right. Well, and even the simple act of yeah. practicing gratitude. Yeah. I don't know helps you not to be so discouraged about the other thing. Yes, yes, mm-hmm. yes, yes. I mean, I mean it's, it's it sounds obvious, but the more we pay attention to all the amazing things God is doing, sure. It gets a lot harder for us to imagine that nothing ever goes right. Sure, right, sure. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, and it's not just being a positive thinker. It's opening our eyes to pay attention to really all the things that yes, God is right. doing. It's good for our hearts I love and it. minds. The yeah. earth is the Lord's and his glory yeah. fills it, bro. Yeah. T. Lee, uh, you're probably tired of getting asked this. I think we talked about this mug at every single Q&A we have ever done together on the road. <laughs> uh, I know what the hardest part of your life is. Can you... Cue people in on uh, what it means to battle a chronic illness and live faithfully in this world for the Lord Jesus, doing the things that you're talking about. Yeah. Um, so, and if I'm taking too scenic of a route, you can rush me along in oh, Jesus' name. Our audience loves this. Come yes. on. Yeah. yeah. Um, they would have to love scenic routes to love <laughs> a podcast hosted by Kevin Burgess. Yes. Uh, now, nah, um, so in 2007, okay, it's a uh, it's a good it's a great time in my life. By the way, 2007, my first album came out the summer before. Summer 2007, I get to go on tour with my heroes, Cross Movement. Woo, bro. Let me tell you, bro. That mug. That's I mean that. I, I was uh, it was unbelievable. I'm like I have nothing else I can do. I made it. More, <laughs> you said we got to retire right now. <laughs> and mind you, you're like I'm 18, 19 years old, and so it's it's incredible. Um. I get back to school for my sophomore year, and uh, and I'm I'm not really feeling that good. I'm kind of tired, and then pretty soon I'm so exhausted that I'm sleeping 18 hours a day, mm. um, and I'm like something's obviously wrong. Right. Um, and so I go to the doctor. He's like, "Oh, you know, I think you got a little virus. It's kind of like mono here. Take you know, take these antibiotics. You should be cool. Take them. <laughs> Still not. It doesn't do anything. Yeah. So I'm sleeping 18 hours a day." I'm exhausted for the other six hours of the day still. Um, and he's like, oh, maybe you got like chronic fatigue syndrome or something. There's not really anything we can do. I'm like, oh. Really? I'm I like, mean, oh, no, no, no. conversation I, over at that point? Right, I mean. How am I supposed to live? Yes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Robinson, how am I supposed to live? Um, and so that begins this strange journey of me not feeling well, um, and I eventually felt a little better than that and kept going to doctors, went to infectious disease specialists, all of this. Um, and yeah, it it keeps coming back like, yeah, we test you for everything else we can think of. We think you have chronic fatigue syndrome. Doctors don't understand it that well. So all you can really do is try to eat good, make sure you're getting rest, just try to live a healthy life. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, and that's been something that I've had since 2007. Man. It's affected me in different ways in different seasons. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it's definitely the hardest part of every part of my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's hard to know when I'll have consistent energy. Yeah, right. Um, and uh, it's hard to, you know, it's the reason I didn't finish school. You know mm, what I'm saying? Right. It's the reason that so many things I've tried to do haven't happened. To, it's, it's the reason I'm not pastoring now. It's the mm. reason I tried all different ways to kind of try to pastor because I'm... 
you know, it's almost like if your phone battery dies, how many, none of your apps work. Right. It's right. not like a few of them work. Sure, right. Like, no, all of the apps run on the battery. That's right. what I'm saying. Right, right, right. And I think one thing I didn't realize maybe even before I got sick is even the commands of scripture that have to do with, you know, even something like rejoice always. Yeah. Um, I can only rejoice in God with the body that he's given me. I'm, I'm not mm-hmm. separate from my sure. body. Sure. This is this is me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, and so um, it affects every part of my life, even my spiritual life. Like, yeah. mm-hmm. and my ability to, to love my neighbor. Sure. You know, it's like everything is running on the energy that I have. Um, even simply reading the Bible. Yes. That, uh, yeah. yeah. The mental focus it takes. Sure. One of the things is... Um, the brain fall that comes along with it, um, it's almost like if I, if you pull your hamstring and you try to run in a race, it's not like, oh, just try hard. It's like, no, no, no you can't. Your muscle will not allow you to do that. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, right. It's like there's times when it's just my mind won't allow me to do do certain things. Um, yeah, and and it's it's looked different in different seasons. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. And, you know, in each season, it's me trying to figure out what does it look like to be faithful? How do I try to navigate this? Mm-hmm. It And it is hard. I mean, I think sometimes people see maybe ways that I've persevered um, and it seems encouraging, inspiring to them. And they're like, I love how Trip just, I just you want to make clear. It's like, I don't always feel like I'm doing a great job. In yeah, doing it. yeah. Like there's some weeks I feel like I'm navigating it in a faithful way. There's other weeks where I feel like maybe I'm overcome with discouragement because it's hard to wrap my mind around. And I'm an ambitious person too. Sure. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. it's like, Brilliant. I'm thinking of all the things I could do yep. for God's glory. Yep. And it just feels like, but this thing is in the way of it. Yeah. And yeah. one of the things that um, the Lord reminds me often is that um, these obstacles are not things that are getting in the way of what God wants to do in my life. Come it's on. the way God is accomplishing what he wants to do in my life. Yeah. That's how God uses trials. These are not things to get in his way. These are tools in his hands yes. to make me more mm-hmm. like Jesus yes. mm-hmm. and to use me in the world the way he wants to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's easier said than understood and believed and trusted. Right, yes. right, right, right. But it's like like when I read Paul talk about his thorn in the flesh, mm-hmm. And he says, I boast all the more gladly in my weakness because it's in his weakness that the power of Christ Ooh. rests on him. Come on, sir. I'm like, Lord, he doesn't just say, I'm okay with it. I'll tolerate it. He yeah. says, I boast all the more gladly in yes. it. Right. Um, and I'm like, Lord, let me be so in love with your power and your glory showing up yes. that I can boast gladly Let's go, sir. in right. the thorn you've given me. Yeah. And the thing about it is like, all of us are weak apart from Jesus. Right. Right, it's right. just the Lord has built my life in a way where I can't live under the illusion of some strength because Ooh. I it's obvious I don't have any. Yeah. So there's mm-hmm. nothing I do where I really, the Lord, mm-hmm. yeah, there's nothing I do where I'm like, I did that, I'm the man. Because it's so right. clear, I limp to every finish line. I barely drag myself across it. It would be like that when I, when I was preaching basically every other Sunday. It would be like, most of the time, I just barely drag myself into the pulpit and I'm like, all I got is this. And the Lord used it in the life yeah. of the congregation. People tell me how it's impacted them. Yeah. And I would have to be an insane person yeah. mm. to be like, you did that, bro. Right, right, You're right. You're so good at this because it's yeah. like, nah, this yeah, is the grace of the Lord, Jesus, man. man. Yeah, bro. Um, and so he's made that super clear in my life. Um, yeah. yeah, I'm praying he will heal me. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. I'm, um, I try not to get pessimistic about uh, even trying new things with doctors. I mean, I feel like right. it ain't... Ain't nothing more I can try. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. But it's like, Lord, you know, that's one of the things about asking God for something often over a long period of time is it's easy to convince yourself, like, there's no point in keeping asking. Mm, mm, it's mm. true. Apart from what Scripture makes really clear that, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You got to keep knocking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah knock, that's right. Knock, knock. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, it's, it's that battle of trying to navigate it well, trusting that God actually does know more than I am, that he is actually accomplishing something. And, like, remembering that, that God is, yeah, like, it's, it's, it's hard not to compare yourself to others. So if mm. I'm like, man, KB, you know, he, he doing this, he doing this, he doing this, he doing this. But all I can, I can just barely keep my head of water, above water just to do that. If I judge myself by that standard, I'm like, I'm a failure out here. Oh, but mm. God has called me to be faithful with the limitations, the body, the life oh, that he's wow. given me. Yeah. Cool. Not with the limitations, body, and life that he's given somebody else. Yes, yes, yes. Like, how can I be most faithful with what you've given me? Yes. Wow. Um, we lose a lot of time and energy thinking about things we wish were different as opposed mm. to how can I be most faithful in the circumstances he's given me right now. Oh, I love and it. that's the battle. That I, you know, trying trying yeah. to focus on. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah. That's powerful, T. Yeah. That's powerful. Yeah. yeah I, um, Amen. I, I feel so instructed by that, bro. Yeah. Um, because I know um, that in my flesh, I can do nothing. I, the yeah, Bible bro. is very, very clear that you are weak. Yes. Needy and frail. Unless the Lord builds the house. Unless the Lord builds building the house. building in vain, man. The labor's labor in vain. Yeah. I was talking to a, we talked about this earlier. I was telling yeah. Trip that I was at the gym today and I got an opportunity to sit down with a couple fighters and talk with them about the Lord and we end up circling up and praying. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was one of the things that I, I, I told my friend as he was thinking about should, he's a pro fighter and is, should, is it time to hang up the gloves? And, uh, and I talked to him about the 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 fact that the the scripture is clear that many are the plans of the king's heart you, you right. can have yeah. all kinds of right. vision for yeah, how you think should things yep. should go mm -hmm. but at the end of the day the, the the outcome is the lord's right and i am i'm struck by what you're saying t because in the grand scheme of things bro i am not better off yeah, because right. I don't have because my cross looks different. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, the 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 same thing that my brother needs, that the, the same trust that God is going to be in control of the outcome. Yeah. I may be able to make seventeen plans. You may be able to make three plans, but it's God's, bro. Yeah, right. Bro. This is God's world. God, the, even the works that I walk into, I think about Ephesians two. Yeah. That I have laid. That I'm walking in the works that He's laid out for me Already. from the foundation right. of the right. earth. Yep, yep. Right. All of this is. Is a reminder that even the works you're walking into, yes, bro. they're not yours, man. They were, they're in footprints yep. that were put there before you got there. Yeah, exactly. Man. And I'm and I'm I'm I, I think in some ways what Trip and my homie Tadashi and what he has went through with the loss of his son, they have been two friends of mine that have been constant reminders that we really are we really are yoke fellows in this world aren't amen, we amen yeah, aren't we isn't there a solidarity that we have yeah. in the suffering that your thorn may look different your cross may look different yes, but the means by which any christian is delivered into the the, the arms mm. of our dear savior that day mm -hmm. is through what you are talking about t yeah, is what you're talking about and i'm i'm wanting to approximate that practice that discipline that out in my life mm -hmm. because there I am whole right I really am not whole man oh, wow I am not whole because everything around me is the way I thought it was supposed to be right that That's right, bro. is the lie of the enemy right and if the enemy can get the believer to focus on as I'm as trip just alluded to Wait, holding your breath to yes. until it becomes what it should be. Ooh. If only that, if that then is. it would be. Yes. And that's what Ecclesiastes spends the whole time tearing mm. down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just if you just zoom in on one thing and think, oh, if only that, it would fix all the problems of my broken life. If right. only this thing, then I wouldn't live in a broken world anymore. Yeah. And he keeps being like, what money? Uh -uh. What? You gonna die? You gonna leave it to your kids who are gonna waste it and throw right. it away? Exactly. You can't take that They're with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He keeps being like, wisdom. Wisdom is great. I need you to understand that ain't what you think it is. Yeah. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? He who loves money won't be sad. And he just goes through yeah. all these lists of all these things like, bro, yeah, yeah, yeah. if you yeah. holding on to some one thing of only this. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's not, yeah. Yes. Yeah. You'll never be satisfied. I'm, I'm thinking about what the, pro, what the uh, Jeremiah says, uh, let not the strong man boast in his strength. That's right, right bro. Right. Let not the wise man boast in his wisdom. wisdom Don't yeah. let the yeah, rich man, man boast in his wealth, but he who boasts. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. We all have the, the, the predilection to brag about something. Yeah, right. Yeah, bro. If you're going to boast, the text says, yes. boast that you fear and understand the Lord. Right. Yes, sir. Right. Right. That's wholeness, bro. Amen. Yes, sir. And it will be crystal clear in eternity, brothers and sisters. Yeah, in man. eternity, there'll be no questions about this. I, I, I'm thinking about Romans 8, where Paul says that the suffering of this present time is not worthy to be compared to the glory that will be revealed in us. I'm mm -hmm. also thinking about Paul says to the Corinthian church mm -hmm. that there is an eternal weight of glory that mm -hmm. is being built through the things that we suffer. Yes. What we endure is preparing a greater forever. Right. Yeah. What we endure what we endure in the moment is preparing a greater forever and yeah. in forever in the presence of God, King. Yeah, bro. Mm -hmm. You will kiss the things. Yeah, bro. That you cursed in this life. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That doesn't make the cursed things good. Right. Yeah. Oh, but it makes them useful, bro. Yeah, bro. Mm -hmm. It makes it, it makes what feels like the most useless thing in this life 
uh, more than, like we say, your losses are not just lessons. Yeah. Your losses are leverage right, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. for an eternal glory yeah, that bro. cannot be compared. Yeah. Amen. That's good. Brothers and sisters, this has been Southside Rabbi. Thank you so much, T. Lee, for joining us today. Thank y'all for having me, man. Hey. I feel honor. honored to be here beneath. <laughs> <laughs> on the block. Beneath the neon sign. Yeah, you know baby. I mean? Yeah. I am KB. It's a mean dream. Yeah.